How's it going guys, it's Rich and welcome to a 43 and 3 TDM on one of the new maps, this is Studio once again and I know that I've uploaded Studio uh, three times in a row and that is because um, I just, I don't know, like yesterday everyone was voting for this map, I went through my theatre mode and I checked and it turns out in the last 17 times I've played a game, 14 of them have been on Studio, uh, apart from one regular TDM that I accidentally joined and I instantly left because I didn't need to join. Uh, 14 out of 17 were on studio. People were just voting for it over and over again, and that just proves that it is, you know, a crowd favourite. I guess uh, people were really happy to see it come back, and uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys still enjoy it, even though it, you know it is still on studio, and I have posted it a fair few times over the last few days. And look at this, by the way. Look at the diamond PDW. I don't think I've used this weapon in diamond camouflage since I've got the diamond SMGs. Just because I've been trying to work on the assault rifles slightly and I've kind of put the SMGs down and I've been sniping a lot more as well. So uh, it's the first time I've used the PDW and the reason I'm using this class, it is a very try hard class if you haven't noticed. It's a PDW with quick draw and stock. I'm also using C4 with the hate C4 clan tag. And the reason I was doing this is because I've been playing solo recently and if you followed me on Twitter yesterday, or if you followed me on Twitter at all, uh, yesterday you may have seen some screenshots of a clan that I was carrying completely. This one guy was like 1 and 27 and his teammates were like 4 and 20 and I was carrying them and somehow I was winning and the only reason I was winning is because I was using a class like this one where I was trying my heart out to uh, go on the objective and whatnot and uh, it just really helped me in this gameplay as well. And I don't know if you've seen them or not but the killstreaks I'm using in this gameplay are the VSAT, the Warthog and the Dogs and I've never, I think I've used the Warthog once in the game, I got it twice and it got me one kill in the game so I took it off and I've decided to give it another chance to the Warthog and it does okay this gameplay, I, I think I used it a fair few times uh, in the last session that I was on it, it was doing okay and uh, it's just one of those kill streaks that it's a little bit hit and miss, you see other people using it and they get like 25 kills and then you use it and it gets like 3 or 4 and you're just like what's happening, am I doing something wrong? Uh, is something happening that you know other people are doing differently to me and it's just one of those things where it's just completely hit and miss with this kill streak. so hopefully uh, you guys enjoy the variety because obviously I like to uh, run the non-lethal kill streaks usually. So running the lethals just allows me to get uh, higher kill gameplays like this one, and uh, maybe I'll start doing the, that a little bit more with my channel as well. So uh, of course this um, DLC is a little bit different to the last DLC. By the way, uh, I think the only difference is the fact that they didn't release a gun this time. And I was thinking to myself, if they did release a new weapon uh, with the uprising DLC that you know was released a few days ago what weapon would I have wanted to see and when I first asked myself this question I was like yeah I'd love to see a sniper come back you know uh, because I, I like to snipe I like to use a different sniper and there's only two uh, options on this game that I really use that's the blister and the DSR so having a new sniper in the game would be pretty cool so I thought to myself yeah a sniper that's the weapon I'd like to see come back and then I thought to myself remember when they dropped the first DLC and they released the peacekeeper everyone in a lobby was using the peacekeeper imagine everyone in a lobby using a sniper and you're just dying one shot left and right how annoying would that be so i decided quickly that i would rather have any weapon apart from a sniper or a shotgun be released in a dlc because for the first few days of its release it would just be completely abused and you're going to get one shotted and even though they're not overpowered it's still very annoying to die to one shot weapons that's why people don't like dying to snipers, that's why people don't like dying to shotguns. And I thought to myself, anything, you know, I'd rather have an assault rifle be released than a sniper. Even if I don't use it as much, at least I'm not going to die to one shot. So leave me a comment in the comment section down below of the weapon that you would have liked to see come back. Not from like a passport of duty, but the weapon class, uh, like the Peacekeeper, that was an SMG. So like if you wanted to see a shotgun or a assault rifle, leave me a comment. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like rating and I'll speak to you all a little bit later on with the sniper gameplay. See you then guys, bye.